Cool. All right, Jacob, you're up next, man. What is your Star Wars TV pitch? Oh, All right. So I had a couple ideas. Uh, and there's there's like 25 Star Wars TV shows that I want. But uh, <laughs> and I figured you guys were going to go with stuff completely unrelated to anything that has happened before. I don't know what yours is, Jake, but I had a feeling you guys were going to say, OK, nothing, no connections to anything. Uh, brand new characters, brand new stuff. So I was like, okay, I want to do a character that I love and I want to see a certain time period. So I, and here's the thing. This is one of the most popular. You can't put Harley Quinn in Star Wars. Oh, never mind. I'm out. No. <laughs> uh, so this is one of the most popular characters in Star Wars. And while you, some people might want to see a movie, I think it would work better as a TV show. And that is a Princess Leia TV show. But actually, a, I guess you would could say Governor Leia TV show because. I want to see a House of Cards esque political thriller Whoa. in the Star Wars universe. Wall? What's up? Fourth Wall? Uh, I don't know. I actually don't watch for House of Cards, so if oh, that's a House what? of Cards oh, reference. Oh my goodness! I, oh my I God. wouldn't know, but I do. I know of the show, and I uh, and it's. You know, it, as far as I can think, it's like one of the more popular political, like thriller type show or political shows. It was. Uh, I mean, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Um, and I can just and look this this show would take place um, like in the middle of in between episodes six and seven. Not, and I'm not. I want to get away from the bloodline. Like, I want to. I want it far away from the bloodline timeline. Like, oh, so you want adult Leia? Yes, th oh. this is before. Yeah. I'm talking about like ten years before Bloodline. So when? So when? Oh, so ten years before she had Kylo. A, a little. So all right. So Kylo's alive in Bloodline. He's an adult. Yes. He's off with Luke. So I I don't know the timeline. So look, certain details of mine might. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened to Brian, but we can just keep <laughs> going until he comes back. Uh, certain details of mine might have some canon contradictions but just just bear with me um fail so <laughs> okay jake kicked me out all right jacob i didn't touch anything <laughs> yeah so no brian i was just saying that uh so this is so in bloodline kylo i think she says kylo's like 17 but i'm not sure no it's seven years before the force awakens so yeah, whatever he's, he's like he's 20 18 20 something like that Oh I yeah, thought he was yeah. like fourteen. I can't remember to ask me. Well, no, yeah. so he's thirty in the Force Awakens. Yeah, so he's like twenty three in in Bloodline. So this is it. I exact. I wrote twelve. I wrote Ben is twelve, thirteen years old. So this around that time, right? And here's there's certain things about the show. Like I want it to be just mostly Leia on her own. Like there, some characters will make cameos and be in certain episodes, but it's mostly Leia on her own around other characters that we don't know. So she's uh, on a political mission and she's trying, she's in the middle of trying to, you know, rebuild the Republic. And she's not necessarily worried about the first order right now. Cause that's what she's doing in bloodline. So she's just d handling business in the, what do they call it? The new, they don't call it the new Republic. Do they? Yeah. New Republic. Oh, don't. she's handling business in the new Republic. She has adversaries. She has, uh, friends and it's kind of like where she's the main character obviously and then she has some other political figure who's like who's in conflict with her and things like that and one of my favorite also, characters mm -hmm. yeah. and i also uh well can't have rancic Casterfo in this show necessarily why I mean, she meets him in uh she meets him in bloodline oh, she does that's right he's like that's right he's young you're right you're right so you're right Ransom right, would right. be like the same age as ben right now or something you're correct he uh, could still be causing her grief from afar. Possibly. If that would or be maybe cool. a, maybe maybe his dad. If they had yeah, if they had that world and the Casterfos were a part of it. Like maybe I, it's the rant the, the the opposite family of her or something. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh so for me, uh I actually and when we got Bloodline, we didn't know that Luke was training Leia at some point. Mm -hmm. So I do want there to be parts of the show where Leia kind of thinks about that and is like i mean maybe maybe i should have went down the jedi path uh things like that and i don't know how it would tie in but i do want at least like an episode or something to dive heavy into the force and how leia deals with it 
and things like that. I don't know if I want Luke showing up at all, but I do want to see Ben, a younger Ben Solo in there at some point. And I don't know if he's, maybe he's coming home to visit his mom from coming from the training with Luke and he comes to visit her. And we see just a young Padawan, like 13 year old Ben Solo. I would love to see, because the thing is we never got to see her with him in the, the sequel series. So, and this is, and I would want this show like 15 years from now, not anytime soon. So just a random actress who fits the age. Uh, and then I want there to also be flashbacks to um, flashbacks to her training. Maybe not with Luke, but I don't know. Cause then you would have to cast Luke and that gets crazy. But if it's, if it's a long time from now, maybe it's okay. Um, but I definitely want flashbacks to when she was a young girl, like when she's like eight years old on Alderaan and learning political stuff from her dad and how it's affecting her now and, and things like that. And I also, in the modern day, I want her to kind of explore, like be very curious about um, her mom and about Padme and kind of want to learn more about that and how she handled things. They do dive into that in canon a little bit, but I want them to like, go full fledged into it. Um, and like I said, I, I don't want necessarily, I don't want Han showing up at all. Han's off doing something. Okay. That's where I was going to ask. I don't is, want, where's Han in this? I'm, I would be okay with the Luke because I kind of want Luke and Ben to come visit her and have some type of force related thing happen while they're there. Um, but I do think you could have Chewie show up and it not be weird at all. So we can say. show up and it not be weird at all. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I want a political thriller like set 10 years before uh, Bloodline. So basically like 17 years before The Force Awakens with a middle-aged Leia just, you know, kicking butt in the political field. So it's it's essentially uh, directly between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens because it's a 30-year gap. Exactly. Um, and that would also, you would also be including um, Anthony Daniels, C-3PO in there. Yes, you could do that. You could have C-3PO. And then also, so we see the Mandalorian, right? Which is six years after <clears throat> Return of the Jedi. Uh, we, don't, yeah. we don't know what the political landscape is in the mm -hmm. Republic. We don't really know. So we can still see this. And it would be well after the Mandalorian too. So I think it's a, I think eventually we'll explore a lot of that 30 year gap. And this would be a way to do it. I like it. Um, Star Wars has some of the best politics out there when it's done right. When it's done right, it's brilliant. Um, you know, it's not touched on uh, a lot, uh, but when it is and when someone really dives into it, uh, they do it right. And I think a lot of that will probably be dealt with in Cassian Andor too. True, um, yeah. Because it's that time period with the Empire and stuff. It's a very different landscape, obviously. Two different sides. Um, but I like it because Leia out of every character in star Wars is the political figure. That's who she is. Um, that's who, who she's always been. Um, and so I, I definitely think it's a cool idea and it's that time period where it's kind of like a, a mystery at, at the moment and don't really know what's happening. Um, so I dig it. I think it's a good idea. Does Admiral Akbar get to be there? Yes. Okay. Good. That's at some point, at some point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I just think, it, like you said, it's a mis nobody really knows what was going on during this time, and I I do th I think if it's I I'm not I don't want this show in three years from now. No way. I I don't want them to touch anything Skywalker saga for a long time. Uh, but I think eventually you will go back to this, and uh, I think that would be a good way to do it because people will over time people are like, okay, I'm ready to revisit that again, and you can just do some really cool things with it. I think the perfect time would be to wait until Billy Lord is a good enough age. Carrie yeah. Fisher's daughter. That you could, would be so awesome. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. And that's one of those where, like, even though she played a Star Wars character, we'd be okay with it. And quite honestly, I don't think there's anybody else uh, in the on the planet that should be able to play Leia outside of her. Um, and I don't think you can motion capture slash VFX someone's someone's face for this. The whole um, entire show, yeah. Yeah, I, I think the only, I think the only way for me personally, the only, the only way I'd want to see it is if Billy Lord was given the chance to play that character. That would be pretty cool. I would, I wouldn't mind that. I would totally be down for that to play out because I mean, it, I don't think if anyone really has a problem with that, yeah, you're kind of 
a douche, to be honest, because <laughs> that that would just be so like almost almost like full circle in a way. Just to, like no one's gonna ever play Princess Leia as an adult again, but her daughter. Like that oh. would just be that would just be. I I I agree. I don't think people would even care that General Connix was in it, and that now she gets. I think people would just be like, yeah, okay. If you're gonna do it, you gotta have and literally. like she was so young. She's so young in the Force Awakens and uh, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, is she in Last Jedi? Oh, at the very beginning. Yeah. Very. Beginning. No, she's in uh, the whole movie. Is she? Oh, you're right. Duh. She has movie. a huge. Yeah. She's helping Poe yeah. the whole time. Uh, yeah. She's so young, and I'm saying if they do it 15 years from now, no one's even, people will mention it, but they're not. She's gonna. gonna think about she's it. gonna age differently. She's gonna look differently in 15 years. And she's you probably know? gonna and look the, a lot like Carrie Fisher. <laughs> yeah, it's very true, yeah. and then it it could work out. No, I I think it's a good idea, and like I said, um, outside of lightsabers and stuff, the political draw of Star Wars has always been so high, because if it's done right, it's brilliant. Because there's so many layers to it. Um, I mean, just look, look at the, the bloodline is an example, a book mm -hmm. that, you know, blew up the Star Wars fan base because it was so well, well written. Um, I mean, hell, get Claudia Gray to write this series. There you go. I, I, honestly, I guarantee you she will <laughs> like they would get her to like she's though, she's written. She's yeah. written Leia twice so far. Like, why not let her do this? Yeah. And what, who better to do it? You know, mm -hmm. storytelling is storytelling. She can learn how to yeah. write a screenplay. And she writes, she writes Leia so well. Well, she, so writes, no, she well. writes Star Wars so well. Oh, well, oh yeah. yeah. General, but I yeah. mean, like, coming, I mean, Bloodline is like, it's perfect. So. On, on a side note, she, she's like, she, she's got to get a script in her hand at some point, correct? Like, like I she has believe, to, right? Though. She, I, she has to at the very least contribute to a script. A script like yeah like i think she's got to be given a chance to like write like a full script yeah i mean she or at least work with another screenwriter uh -huh. like work with the screenwriter and them to write it together like, yeah yeah that would be amazing yeah cool. i mean well, I, oh go ahead go ahead i was just gonna say a majority of these book writers like they could probably easily all the ones that they have in the high republic uh future i guess like they would all be fantastic people for the most part to contribute to a script, especially Claudia Gray. Agreed. Well, Absolutely, any final yeah. thoughts on Jacob's pitch? Horrible. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. I like it. Yeah, um, no, all right. I, I would love to see Le a young Leia one day again. So we'll see. I agree. I think, I think if you give it enough time, I think people will accept it for sure.